welcome to another edition of Garage Pros. I'm Mark Nolan. We've got the hood up on our 2011 Silverado here, and we've said it before, you know, motors, engines, they're just big giant air pumps. We're trying to get as much air in and out as we can over a very short period of time, and that allows us to build horsepower and torque. And one of the big ways to do that, and really one of the easiest ways and the most inexpensive ways, is to change your air intake system. We've got a K&N Air Charger high flow intake system here. K&N has been an industry leader in filtration of all different types. Don't forget about that million mile warranty they have on their air filters. Proper maintenance, you're gonna make it to a million miles with that anyway. I mean, you know, cause your, can your car or your truck make it that far? That's up to you also. But what we're gonna do here today is take out all of this, man, it's spaghetti in here. All of these hard bends and this flex hose in there that creates all that turbulence inside as that air is just trying to get its way into the intake there. Uh, it's gonna smooth it all out. The new piping, the new tubing system that's gonna go in here is gonna allow that cool, dense charge to get in there quicker. And it's gonna allow it to get in there at a much higher rate and allow you to build better horsepower and better torque. We're gonna to take a few minutes here and get all this other stuff out of here. We'll put the new K&N system on here and hopefully build a little better horsepower and maybe even some better fuel mileage. All right, we've pulled out a number of uh, Starbit fasteners here and uh, done one for the uh, for an O2 sensor, or the mass airflow sensor here. And you got to be very careful whenever you pull this out of here, because those elements on the inside of the sensor are actually extremely delicate, both to uh, to jarring motions and also to uh, to anything else that might get to it. So you got to be very very careful in where you move it and where you set it away. We'll pull away the old restrictive air box and assembly but make sure you keep all of those fasteners too most of them are actually supplied with the actual system but you want to make sure you keep all these old fasteners too and keep the whole system really you may decide if you get a different vehicle with the same application uh, you might want to put the old intake on this take your million mile filter and move it on to the next vehicle you never know so that's what you got to do make sure you set aside a little parts pile as you're putting this all together or taking it apart at this point Okay, we're about to put our, uh, our heat shield in here for our air box, and uh, you'll note there are two holes slotted right here. Uh, however, on the uh, factory place or base plate for the old uh, air box, there is only one hole. So what we're going to do is line up this hole, and then where this hole is, we're going to make a mark and drill down in for the second actual bolt to come through. So we'll set this in place down, get our mark. Okay, there you go. Okay, so the lion's share of our new K&N system is, uh, is in. I mean, if you look at this, this compared to the factory piece, which almost seems like it has uh, passages to nowhere in it, uh, this is definitely gonna help us out. And with each one of these uh, K&N systems, you actually get a dyno sheet, and uh, a dyno sheet that's matched up with the, with the motor and the particular application that uh, you're dealing with. In our case, we're looking at anywhere from 12 to 16 horsepower gain. The same goes for torque. There's a real good chance you're gonna gain some fuel mileage with that too. You're allowing this, uh, this engine to, to breathe a little bit better. So we'll continue to uh, attach uh, things like our, um, our mass airflow sensor and uh, continue to put everything together here. But this is, uh, this is a great way, again, with your, your K&N Air Charger high flow uh, intake kit uh, to allow yourself to get a little more horsepower, a little more torque, and very possibly even a little better gas mileage to go along with it too. K&N, the way to go. Thanks for joining us for Garage Pros. I'm Mark Nolan.